Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how uh, multiple ways to create uh, Microsoft Forms. So Microsoft Forms is actually a place where you can uh, create a very simple uh, form uh, with uh, different types of uh, questions, if it's a choice, if it's a text, if it's a date, and uh, even uploading uh, documents. Uh, but let's see uh, the multiple ways to, to do that. So the first way I'm now on uh, office.com and actually I can create, click on the create button, which is new. If you don't have it, it will uh, arrive uh, probably soon. So I cl I'll can create, click it and I can see, I can create actually documents, presentation, workbooks. And what we're looking for is actually the form. So we can click the form, either form or quiz. If we click on it, it will um, create automatically a form in Microsoft Forms. So we can give a title and add the questions. So I assume you know uh, the rest. So that's the first option. Second option is actually, if we go back to the office.com and click on the nine dots, and we should see this form, which we can click if we don't find it we can scroll down and click on all apps and search for our forms by the way it's yeah, i see it's forms it's not microsoft forms but i guess it's the same so this is the second option because we can actually choose this and it will give us to choose if we want a form or quiz and we can choose uh, what we want uh, next possibility is actually if we go to the office.com and we choose um, Excel. Okay, we can choose the Excel from here if we have it. If not, we can choose the app of Excel. And what it does is actually um, we create a Excel online uh, document. Um, and actually from there, we go to insert and we choose the forms and in forms we choose new form and what it does is it creates a excel file which is meant to store um, forms and what happens is instead of if in other way when we create just a form then we can export the data to excel but here the excel is stored in a onedrive and um, uh, we don't need to export it just to open the file just to show you um, here. So uh, there's open in Excel. And by the way, you see there's like a cloud here. Instead of export in Excel, there's an open. So it always goes to this. Uh, and it, that means that if you want to access directly the reports, we can, uh, or, or the results, you can go directly where it's stored. Um, okay, so that's uh, one way. So uh, next way is actually if we go to the nine dots and go to OneDrive, we will see actually under my files and new, we can choose an option that's called forms for Excel. It will ask us a name. So let's call it my forms and it will create it with the name, store it in OneDrive, but uh, then we can start working. Um, so the Excel file will be stored in, in OneDrive. If we go back here, we should see um, this My Forms. Okay. Next, uh, in, if we go back to office.com, we can go to the nine dots, choose SharePoint. And in SharePoint, we will choose any team site or communication site. Let's choose this demo 1960. We'll go to documents, create a new document library. And under the new button, we can see uh, forms for Excel. If we click on it, we can give a name and it will create it and store it in the document library. By the way, if you don't see this, then the, this option, we can click on the new button, edit new menu and we can mark if it's hidden. So maybe in some cases it's hidden. Once we mark it and save it, we will see it here. 
Um, the last uh, possibility is actually to, to do it in teams. So I can either go to the nine dots, choose teams. I can go to the desktop teams. In this case, I will choose teams. It's open here. I can choose, for instance, um, a channel, let's say general, or let's say HR. And I can click on the plus button and I can choose a tab, a form. So uh, I see it here. If I don't see it, I can search for it and I will click it. It will ask me, uh, do I want to create a new one or use an existing? You see here, here are the possibilities of the existing ones or I can create a totally new one. So let's call it test one and we will just click save and to this tab within the channel, we have um, the forms, you can give it a name, add the questions, response, we have here everything, settings, you name it. So uh, these are all of the options. Um, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode.